Festival Anaganish Summer Theater and 98.9 XFM welcome you to Wednesday Nights at the Theater. Tonight's show is a recorded adaptation of our original outdoor play, Robin Hood, The Great Escape, written by Andrea Boyd and Laura Teasdale and performed at Quebec Mountain. Sound design is by Justin Gregg. So here's what we know. The Sheriff of Nottingham has held a sham archery contest and captured Robin Hood. He made a deal with Marion that if she sacrificed herself and agreed to marry him, he would let Robin live. Now one week has passed and it is the night of either Robin's execution or release. But the Merry Men have been busy, scattered throughout the forest, hiding from the guards and working on an elaborate plan to trick the Sheriff and free Robin and themselves once and for all. Each member of the band has a very specific role in the plan, and it must go off without a hitch. Now let's hide behind a tree and eavesdrop on Friar Tuck and Alana Dale as they build giant puppets for their part in the plan. His journey began when a woman and man fell in love on the Silk Road. Came a Loxley heir, courageous and fair, and that's the story told. One day met her out in the wood, a god half man, half stag, who sent him down a path to save her lost and broken land. Robin Hood and his band of merry men. It were not long for he met little Joan a walking with her staff. She clunked old Robin off that bridge and all he did was laugh. Will Scarlet tricked old Robin into buying magic beans. And Robin Hood just asked him if he'd like to join our team. Robin Hood and his band of merry men. The sheriff went hunting foreigners and we found Friar Tuck. The sheriff went hunting witches, now Midge is one of us. Marion bested Robin in a duel with his own bow. Now she sneaks out of her window to join us on the road. Robin Hood and his band of merry men. Now I'm Alana Dale and I'll sing you a tale of triumph and delight. Oh, it's no use, Tuck. Alana Dale, you know I love singing with you, but enough. Come help me. Our part of the plan was build giant puppets, not sing and weep. But you're the best puppet builder there is. Remember when you tricked Lord Farquhar? <laughs> yeah, you really believed that was a bear. How can you be so calm? Lana Dale, I have no control over what happens out there, only what happens in here. But this might be the last song that I write as Bard of Robin Hood's Merry Men, and I, I don't even know how the song ends. Calm your mind, and help me finish those flowers. But if something happens to Robin, where would we go, Tuck? You, wandering alone, feared for your strange but wonderful beliefs... Midge burned as a witch, Will and Bram pulled apart when anyone can see they belong together. I can't write that song. And Joan, little Joan, she'd be back in that alley exchanging beatings for beer. And you? Me? I'd be recaptured by that vile old duke who wants a nightingale in his cage. Ah, Robin saved you too. He saved us all, Tuck. She clonked old Robin. Do you like that, clonked? At first I had knock, but clonk is literally the sound you hear in your head when little Joan hits you with her staff. The plan will work and get the glue. Oh, the glue was as thick as Marion's Alana, lips. focus. This is why the Merry Men never let you train for combat. Hey, little Joan has her staff and Will has his sword. My loot and my voice are my weapons. Weapons. Don't be deceived by my motley attire. A troubadour is no fool. I was only three when I started to sing. Full songs. I could hear them once and remember every word and every note. I had the calling. The calling? To become a minstrel, like my grandfather. And he taught me everything his grandfather taught him, and everything his grandfather taught him. And, even though I was a girl, too stupid to learn to read, he taught me that too, so I could sit down and read history for myself. 
So, when I get up and walk this land as a true bard, listening and then telling and then listening, well, I could decide for myself between what I read and what I hear. And I could tell you, you can't believe anything you read in those history books. They get rewrit every time someone wins or loses a war. And there are never any women in it. How can you believe any of it when half the people in the world aren't even in there? That is true. So, how do the rest of us get our stories told? In a song. A song will sneak down through eternity, unsuspected and uncensored. By lullaby or by drunken ballad, my truth will out. That's my weapons. Self-knowledge is power. Did Buddha say that? No, I said it. Now put up your weapons and help me with this brooch. Ow. So, how come the other merry men never let you train for combat? I hate violence. Except when necessary. Except when never. I will never raise my hand in anger. I did trip Gisborne that one time, but that was my foot, not my hand. I thought you were just a bad fighter. Do you know why I left Sumatra? You were called to wander, like me. Yes, but when I was young... When you I, were young? When I was even younger, I joined a monastery. I studied, yes, I read, I meditated. But my true gifts were in the martial arts. You? Yes, I was the strongest monk. I was very prideful. But we are forbidden to be the aggressor. We use only the force needed to refuse the violence being offered to us. One day, a thief came to the monastery. We had nothing. We possess only ten things each, so we let him take. Our bowls, our robes, our needle threads, razors. After all, if you want nothing, you lose nothing. But then, he struck my teacher for nothing. And my teacher, ten times the warrior of this thief, did nothing. He could have defended himself, but nothing. Well, I couldn't do nothing. I pursued the thief and blind to my own strength, my own rage. I killed him. I betrayed everything that I believed in. I can't go home. You are home. Uh, I had no idea, Tuck. Still waters run deep. I'm glad you're on our side. All these good people. Outlaws. Why? Because we need food? Because we need to eat? We're not criminals. Some of us are. I am. It's not the same. Robin is. Because the law is breaking the law. The king doesn't know the sheriff is abusing his power. Oh, who knows what the king knows? He's a million miles away. Whatever he's crusading about, it's not us. No more talking. Focus. It is soon time. Tuck, take out your coins and tell me how my song ends. It's not fortune telling. You say that and yet somehow it always knows. The I Ching can't predict the future. I'll write you a song. I'm already in your song, even though I only got half a verse when you wrote a whole quartrain about the stag god Hearn. I'll take it out. We don't even know if it's true. It's easy to put a deer head on your own head and parade around the forest making pronouncements. There's funny mushrooms up in those woods. Remember when Lil Joan proposed to that cranberry bush? Well, throw your coins and I'll take the stag god out. You don't throw the eating for comfort. You might reveal truths you don't want to hear. Truth is I don't want to hear myself trying to play my lute with my hands chopped off for stealing a loaf of bread. Get me my book and coins. What does it say? Are we going to die? Quiet your mind, Alana. Odd. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Return to stillness, Alana. Even. Stillness, 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 stillness. Whoa. What? What does it say? What? It says 18, ku, decay. Receiving this hexagram is a sign that there is a defect in the attitude of someone or one society that must be corrected. The time has come to root out the decay. Whoa. What does it mean? 
It means I'll do it. What will you do? I'll kill the Sheriff of Nottingham myself if I have to. Oh. We have just enough time to build the butterflies. Oh, I'll write a song for Tuck. Oh, Doug, he brings us luck. He's kind to ducks. What else rhymes with tuck? Maybe about... work on it later? Okay. This episode of the outdoor play Robin Hood, The Great Escape was written by Andrea Boyd and Laura Teasdale. Robin Hood features the voices of professional and community actors. Our professional actors in this episode were Noella Murphy as Alana Dale and Aquila Wibisono as Tuck. Our featured unsung hero this week is Ashley Pettipaw, our operations and digital media coordinator. Sound design was by Justin Gregg and direction by Andrea Boyd. This project is made possible through the support of Canada Council for the Arts and our presenting sponsors, McLeod Group and Atlantic Windows. To catch up on past episodes and to donate to Festival Enneganish, go to festivalenneganish.com. And if you enjoyed this, please spread the word on social media. Tune in next week for the continuing saga of Robin Hood, The Great Escape.